Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this design using React.js. Now in this video, we will design this block section right here. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the source code and let's go to the blog component. So let's open this folder and let's click on block.jsx. The first thing we will do is we will change this division into a section and I will also give it an ID of blog and let's also give it a class name. So since we have pink color for this uh, section, we will give it a class name of pink because we have set the class names over here in the index.css file. So here we can see for the pink class, we have this background color of pink. So let's go ahead and uh, first of all, let's create a division with a class of wrapper because for this also we need to have a fixed width. So let's create a division and let's give it a class name of wrapper. Now in this, the first thing we need to have is this heading. So let's create an H2 for that. And we'll also give it a class name of light. And here we'll just type latest posts. Now here we have given it a class name of light because if you go to the index.css file, here for the heading, we can see that we have a heading with a class of light and when we have the light class for the underline we are having a yellow color so if you go back to the figma file here for this heading we have this yellow underline but for all the other headings we have this red underline so that's why we are adding this class of light for this h2 so if you go back to the website here we can see we have the correct underline for the heading right now let's add the other elements so if you go back to the figma file here we can see we have these three different posts and first of all let's create a container division and we'll just give it a class of content container now for each of these posts i'll just create divisions with a class of post so let's create a division and let's give it a class name of post now in this post the first thing we need to have is this tag so let's create a division and let's give it a class name of tag and first of all, we need to type DAW. And the next thing we need to have is this thumbnail. So for that, let's create an anchor tag. And in this anchor tag, we will have the image so that whenever the user clicks on this image, they'll be taken to that post. Now let's create an IMG tag. And here we need to add the first image. So if you go to the assets folder, here we can see we have these three different images, block one, block two, and block three. So let's import them over here. So I'll just type import. And let's type blog one and uh, blog two and blog three and uh, let's add them over here so for the first one let's type blog one and then we need to have this heading so i'll just copy this heading from here and uh, let's create an anchor tag and in that we will have an s3 and let's give it a class name of post title and let's paste the title over here Right, that's it with the first post so i'll just copy this post from here and i'll just paste it two more times for the other two posts now for the second post we have the tag as mixing and then we have this title so let's change this to mixing and here we'll just change the image to block two and i'll just change the title to the second title and then lastly we have vox as the tag so here let's type vox and uh, here i'll just type block three and i'll just change the title and then lastly we need to have this button right here so let's go outside this division which is the content container division and let's create a division and uh, let's give it a class name of btn container and that will create an anchor tag and let's also give it a class name of all posts button and here i'll just type all posts all right now let's go back to our browser and uh, this is how it looks all right now let's style this using css so let's go to our css file which is blog.css now if you go to the index.css file here we can see for the content container we have set the display to flex now for the content container of the block component, we need to change this to a grid. That's because if you go back to the Figma file, here we can see for the block component, 
for the tablet we have a different kind of layout for the block component and this will be easily accomplished with display of grid. So let's go back and let's go to the block.css file and here let's type hash block content container and let's set the display to grid and now we need to have three columns so let's type grid template columns and let's just set it to 1fr, 1fr, 1fr which means three columns with the same width and let's go back to the Figma file and let's see what is the gap so we have a gap of 40 so let's see how it looks let's go back and let's tap gap and let's set it to 40 pixels and let's go back to our browser and we also need to change the width of the image so let's go back and let's do that let's tap block post img now here we will set the width to 100% and for the height let's see what's the height in the figma design so let's select this image and uh, here we can see we have a height of 159 let's just round it to 160 so just have height of 160 pixels and we'll also set the object fit to cover so that it has the correct proportions now if you go back to our browser here we can see this is how the website looks right now let's style the post division so here we can see we have this division of the class of post and in that we have all the content of the post so let's select that let's type blog post and first of all let's set the background color to white and uh, let's go back to the figma file and let's select this division right here and here we can see we have a border radius of 10 pixels so let's go ahead and add a border radius of 10 pixels right, let's go back to our browser and this is how it looks right now we need to style the tag so here we can see we have this tag we need to set the position of this tag relative to the post division so for the tag we have this division of the class of tag so here i'll just type blog post tag and let's set the position to absolute and here for the container division let's add a position of relative and now let's go back to the figma file and let's select this tag and let's go to the inspect and here we have the styles so let's copy these styles from here and I'll just paste it over here and we also need to set the color of the text to black and uh, here we can see we have the tag displayed now we also need to add a background color so let's type background and let's set it to white and if you go back to the figma file and if you select this rectangle here we can see we have a border radius of 10 pixels and we also have the top and the right positions set to 8 pixels and we also have a padding of 0 and 16 pixels so let's copy all these styles so let's paste it over here and uh, let's copy these two styles let's paste it over here and we also need to copy this border radius and uh, let's paste it over here and here let's also type serif as a backup font and we'll just remove this font style normal from here so let's go back to our browser and here we can see this is how the tag looks right now now here we can see we have this rounded corners for the post division but for the top left and top right we don't have rounded corners that's because there is this image on top of this post division so for that we need to go back to the post division and here we need to type overflow and set it to hidden and now we can see we have this border radius displayed let's also add a hover effect to these posts so here let's type blog post colon hover and uh, let's type transform scale and let's set the scale to 1.04 and we'll also have a smooth transition so i'll just type transition all to 400 milliseconds ease and let's go back and now we can see we have this hover effect right now let's style this post title so if you go back to the blog.jsx file here we can see we have this s3 with the class of post title so here let's type blog post post title and let's go back to the figma file and uh, let's copy the styles and here we can see these are the styles so i'll just copy these styles from here and uh, let's paste it over here i'll just remove font style normal and here I'll just add serif and this is how the title looks right now now we also need to add some padding to the left and right so let's go back to the figma file and here we can see on the left we have a padding of 24 pixels and on the top we have a padding of 16 pixels so let's go back and let's do that here let's type padding 
and 16 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right. Now here we can see we have a lot of spacing. That's because of the margin of the heading. So here let's type margin and I'll just set it to zero. And I think that's it with the styling of the posts. Now let's style this button. Now for the button here we can see we have this division with the class of button container. Now here let's just select that blog button container. Now here if I just add a background color. Here we can see that this is the button container division. Now we need to bring this button to the right side. So I just set the display to flex and justify content to right. And now we can see that the button is on the right side. Now let's style this button. So for the button we have this anchor tag with a class name of all posts btn. So let's select that and just tap blog all posts btn. And let's go to the Figma file. And let's select this button. And here we can see we have these styles. So I'll just copy these styles from here. And let's go back and let's paste it over here. Let's remove this font style normal. And let's also add serif. Now let's go back and here we can see we have a padding of 32 pixels on the left and the right and 4 pixels for the top and bottom. So let's add the padding. Let's have padding of 4 pixels and 32 pixels. Right now let's select this rectangle and here are the styles for the rectangle. So here we can see we have a border radius of 10 pixels and this white background color. So let's copy this and let's paste it over here. And if you hover over this here we can see we have a margin of 30 pixels from the top. So let's type margin top of 30 pixels. Right now let's go back to our browser and this is how it looks. Let's also change the color of the text. So let's change the color to black. And let's go back and this is how it looks. So with that we have styled the blog component. Now here we have directly added all this content in the component itself. But later in this course I'll show you how to get all this data from a content management system. Alright so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video please click on the like button. And subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.